The board will now come to order. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Martin. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderwoman Murphy. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Alderman Oldenburg. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Alderwoman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Ogilvy. Alderman Cohn. Alderman Williamson. Alderwoman Boyd. Alderwoman Navarro. President Reed. Here. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Martin. Alderwoman Howard. Alderman Rohde. Alderwoman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Cohn. Alderwoman Boyd. You have 18 present, Mr. President, you have a quorum. Quorum being present, unless everyone in the chambers and galleries who's able to stand and please rise for prayer. Before we begin prayer and begin today's meeting, I'm going to ask everybody to join me in a moment of silence uh, for two people that we lost this week, uh, former Alderman Bill Waterhouse. Uh, please send your thoughts and prayers to his family and loved ones. And John King, uh, uh, he was, uh, if you've ever been to the Bastille, you've met John. John was a great man, great person who fought for LGBTQ rights and um, was just a good person. Uh, and we lost him this week also. So join me in a moment of silence for both John and Bill. Given all honor to God, almighty God, source of all authority, we humbly ask guidance in our deliberations and wisdom in our conclusions. Amen. And let's give a big round of applause to Alderman Sam Moore, who's back from surgery. Your doctor is going to see this tape and he's going to say, I thought I told you to stay off a couple more weeks. So he snuck in here anyway. We're welcome back, Sam, but your doctor, you're going to be in trouble. we are been to our regular order of business, take up our courtesy resolution calendar. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion for our courtesy resolutions calendar. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for adoption of the courtesy resolution calendar. Move by the Alderman from the 18th. 16th, seconded by the Alderman from the 22nd, Alderman from the 16th, would you like to approach the dais? All right, it's a warm one, so brevity is going to be the better half of valor here. Good morning, everyone. I'm very privileged to be approaching the dais and approaching you um, with a courtesy resolution for the president, who is retiring, resigning uh, from the Southampton Neighborhood Association, Mr. Adam Wright. Adam Wright has been involved in the Southampton Neighborhood Association since about 2012-2013. Uh, he led a lot of safety efforts. And Adam takes everything personal, and I think you all know uh, that neighborhood associations, strong ones and presidents, um, are really important, right? And oftentimes they take a lot of bullets for us, 
alderman. Uh, so I had the privilege of working with Adam for the last four years in his role uh, with the association. The last two years he was their president and he got a lot of things done. He led a uh, neighborhood-wide uh, transportation plan where over 350 residents all had the best ideas for how they were going to calm traffic in their neighborhood and Adam corralled and managed that situation in a very professional way which I appreciated. Also uh, upstart the Christie Park concert series have started so that's a kind of a shameless plug so if you want to come out and hear some good music grab some food down at Christie Park throughout the summer uh, Adam and the Southampton Neighbor Association has started those concert series. So I'm not going to read this resolution, but just let Adam say something if he wants and let, let you all know uh, that I appreciate Adam and how things are going in Southampton neighborhood. I just want to say as a transplant to the city, I love it and I could never imagine leaving and I want to thank you all for your service to uh, making our city such a great place to live. I appreciate all the sacrifices you do on behalf of us, you make on behalf of us the residents. Thank you. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Adam, I just want to also thank you for all that you do to continue to move St. Louis forward. For, your, for those of you who have not had an opportunity to meet Adam, Adam's a great guy. And Alderman from the 16th, I want to thank you for bringing the resolution forward. And it gives us great pleasure to add your name to the permanent records of the city of St. Louis. Let's give Adam one more big round of applause and thank you for Our former clerk, Dave Sweeney, could learn something about the, how to wear a seersucker suit from Adam. Adam has the hat and everything. Let's give Adam one more big round of applause. Thank you, Adam. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our courtesy resolutions calendar. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. Motion carries. With that, we'll return our regular order of business. Introduction round of guests. Any introduction round of guests? Alderman from 22nd. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I have two honored guests this morning, Mr. Leroy Grant with AT&T and Lou Hamilton with Centrix. Alderman from the 6th. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to have as my honored guests Michael Berg and Gretchen Bart with Sierra Club. Any further introductions? Alderman from 23rd. Yes, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to hear from the uh, Home Builders Association, Alex Scharf and Emily Post. All the one from 28. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to have as my honored guest, 7th Ward Committee Man, Marty Murray. All the one from 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to introduce my special guest, uh, Mr. Searcy uh, from the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters, uh, Keith and Kevin from the Carpenters Hall, and I'd also like to uh, add my two favorites from the firefighters over there, Mr. Alfred Demetrius, or Demetrius Alfred, just Al to me, and uh, also Sean Weller from Congressman Clay's office. All the men from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I'd like to have as my special guest today all those that was going through my trials and tribulations with me. My wife, Tracy, my secretary, president of the board, Louis Reed, Maurice Falls, Marlene Davis, all the women, Marlene Davis, Bette Murphy, Carol Howard, Terry Kennedy, Frank Williamson, Alderman Gunther, Attorney Dave, and Gracia, all the woman Spencer and all of your prayers I thank you for all your prayers and keep praying for me God bless 
I'll run from the first. Mr. President, members of the board, I, I'd like to introduce my special guest, Alderman Sam Moore, who I have been trying to uh, be the alder person in both the fourth and the first since he's been out. And forestry is getting ready to have a real hard time with me because I've been riding the fourth ward as though I represented it. But I did Excellent. call the alderman from the fourth first to talk to him about that. Well, Welcome back, Alderman Moore. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> alderman from the fourth. I want to thank my partner in crime, Sharon Tyler. <laughs> She's been a dear, dear, dear friend to me. Right. She took care of the fourth ward while I was out. Excellent. Thank you. All the men from the 16th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have my special guest today, Mr. Adam Wright. Thank you. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? All the men from the 10th would like to wrap us up. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, we're gathered here on June 8th, D-Day plus two. It was on this day in 1947 that the Lassie Show debuted on radio. Now, how does that happen? How does a dog have a radio show? <laughs> but more importantly, in 1936, on this day, the first parking meter was invented. And on the next day, Jeffrey Boyd wanted to know who was getting the money. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Report to city officials. <laughs> we would dispense with line item number five. Report uh, city officials can be found in section six, A, B, and C of the agenda. Copies have been placed in all of the aldermen's mailboxes. Dispense with line item seven. Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? We dispense with line items eight through 10, first reading of board bills. Board bill number 72, sponsored by President Reed and Alderman Muhammad, an ordinance revising the transparency in government law, ordinance 69707 and ordinance 70321, codified at chapter 3.115 of the revised code to require the effective closed captioning of all public meetings of the St. Louis Board of Aldermen including committee meetings, the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, and the Preservation Board. Board Bill Number 73, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard and Alderwoman Murphy, an ordinance pertaining to the conveyance of title and the recording of such transfer with the Recorder of Deeds, amending Section 3 of Ordinance 56141 and Ordinance 65038 by removing the requirement of the signature of the guarantee on deeds issued by the Sheriff of the City pursuant to court order. Board Bill Number 74, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, an ordinance recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Board of Public Service, and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, establishing and authorizing a public works and improvement program, the Airfield Building and Environs Project at St. Louis International Airport, the airport as more fully described in attachment, in the, in the attached Exhibit A, entitled FY19 Project Cost and containing a severability and an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 75, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, an ordinance recommended and approved by the Airport Commission, the Comptroller, and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, making certain findings with respect to the transfer up to $3 million of excess monies that the city, the owner and operator of St. Louis Lambert International Airport, intends to transfer to, from the Debt Service Stabilization Fund to the Airport Development Fund in accordance with Section 516B of the Lambert St. Louis, St. Louis International Airport indenture of trust between the city as grantor and UMB Bank NA as trustee, dated as of October 15, 1984, as amended and restated as of July 1, 2009, as amended and supplemented, authorizing a transfer in the amount not to exceed $3 million from the DSSF into the Airport Development Fund during the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2018 for the purpose of making funds available to address Cold Water Creek emergency repairs phase two, installation of two 12 foot by 12 foot reinforced concrete box culverts and the restoration of the Charlie Pad aircraft ramp, glycol recovery system, ramp edge lighting system and associated impacted improvements containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 76, sponsored by Alderwoman Hubbard, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission approving the name of a new public street located in the approved Jonas Hubbard Estates subdivision located in City Block 552. Board Bill 77, sponsored by Alderwoman Williamson and Muhammad, 
an ordinance recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment authorizing a supplemental appropriation, amending ordinance 70540, common re commonly referred to as the City Annual Operating Plan for fiscal year 2017-2018 appropriating and setting apart projected local use tax and gaming fund revenues to address certain f shortfalls in revenues and excess expenditures in the general fund for the current fiscal year in the amount of $3,200,000 as here and after detailed and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill number 78, sponsored by Alderman Moore, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2615 Billups. Board Bill 79, sponsored by Alderwoman Sp Spencer, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 347, 3437 to 3439 Iowa. Board Bill 80, sponsored by Alderwoman Spencer. An ordinance approving a re redevelopment plan for 3211 Osage. Board Bill 81, sponsored by Alderwoman Martin. An ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 7714 through 18 South Broadway. Board Bill 82, sponsored by Alderman Gunther. An ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2829 Iowa. Board Bill 83, sponsored by Alderwoman Ingracia, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2528 Texas. Board Bill 84, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2235 McNair. <coughs> Board Bill 85, sponsored by Alderman Coder, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 705 through 719 North 2nd. Board Bill 86, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, Pursuant to Ordinance 68937, an ordinance authorizing the honorary street name Urban League Square, which shall begin at the intersection of North Spring Avenue and Grandel Square and run east on Grandel Square to North Grand Boulevard. That is the extent of the first reading, Mr. President. Reference to committee. Ways and Means, Board Bill Number 77. Transportation and Commerce, Board Bill Number 74 and Number 75. Streets, Board Bill 76 and 86. Neighborhood Developments, Board Bills 78, 79, 80, 82, 83, and 84. Housing, Urban Development, and Zoning, Board Bills 81 and 85. Legislation, Board Bills 72 and 73. That is the extent of reference to committee, Mr. President. Second reading. Board Bill number 48, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property on the Central West End form-based district map from NG1 Neighborhood General Type 1 Zone to the NCT1 Neighborhood Center Type 1 Zone and City Block 3914, uh, uh, 3914417R West Pine and to further change the overall boundaries of the NG1 Neighborhood General Type 1 Zone and the NC1 Neighborhood Center Type 1 Zone, established under Ordinance 69406 and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 50, sponsored by Alderwoman Martin, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property in City Block 2861 from B, Two Family Dwelling District, to F, Neighborhood Commercial District at 5601 through 03 South Broadway and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 71, sponsored by Alderman Vaccaro, an ordinance establishing a three-way stop site at the intersection of Pernod and Ten Bar. Can I some order? Please. Regulating all traffic traveling eastbound and westbound on Pernod at Ted Mar and regulating all traffic southbound on Ted Mar at Pernod and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 69 CS, sponsored com committee substitute, sponsored by Alderman Boyd, an ordinance recommended by the Parking Commission making appropriation for payment of the operating expenses, capital equipment, and improvement expenses, including lease purchase agreements involving parking division assets and debt service expenses of the parking division of the Treasurer's Office, Keel and City Hall parking facilities, information technologies, Argyle parking, Shoto building and parking facilities, Williams paper parking, Central Downtown Parking, Buckingham Parking, Couples Parking Facility, and Justice Parking Facility for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2018 and ending June 30th, 2019, amounting in the aggregate to the sum of $16,221,902 and containing an emergency clause. That is the extent of second reading, Mr. President. We dispense with line items 14 through 16, third reading consent. Board Bill Number 47, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance directing the Director of Streets to change the 3200 block of Sullivan from a one-way passage to a two-way passage and containing an emergency clause. 
Board Bill Number 4049, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, an ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service to conditionally vacate travel on the north side of Forest uh, Blocks 3745 through 3801 Forest Park. Board Bill Number 63, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance directing the Director of Streets to make such changes in the present traffic pattern controlling traffic on Greer, Dodier, and University at the 3500 block of said streets between North Grand and North Garrison so that is reconfigured the traffic pattern developed and in place as a result of the changes directed by this ordinance are as follows, namely Greer 3500 block traffic to flow two way between North Grand and North Garrison, Dodier 3500 block traffic to flow two way between North Grand and North Garrison, University 3500 block traffic to flow one way southeast between North Grand and North Garrison. That is the extent of the third reading consent calendar, Mr. President. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion for the third reading consent calendar. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for adoption of the third reading Second. consent calendar. Moved by Alderman from the 18th, seconded by Alderman from the 25th. Any discussion? Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Consent calendar. Alderman Volmer. Alderwoman Martin. Alderman Arnowitz. Alderwoman Murphy. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Alderman Oldenburg. Alderman Rohde. Alderman Kennedy. Aye. Alderwoman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer. Alderman Muhammad. Aye. Alderman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Vaccaro. Aye. Alderman Ogilvy. Aye. Alderman Cohn. Alderman Williamson. Aye. Alderwoman Boyd. Alderwoman Navarro. President Reed. Aye. All the woman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Martin. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Boyd. Alderman Cohn. Aye. Alderman Ba or twenty four I votes, no zero no votes, Mr. President. By vote you stay in the motion. All of them from the eighteenth and third read and finally passed the aforementioned bills. We'll dispense with line item 18. Report of enrollment. Board bills number 47, 49, and 63. All other business being suspended, the president shall in open session affix his signature here too to the end that these may become law. First reading of resolutions. Resolution number 38, sponsored by Alderwoman Martin, Enterprise Zone for IPX Apex LLC. Alderwoman from the 11th, you recognize on the first reading of resolution number 38. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'd like to make the motion that um, resolution 38, sorry, uh, yeah, be moved to uh, HUD's committee, please. 
It's been moved by the Alderman from the 11th that we assign Resolution 38 to HUD, entertain a second on the motion, seconded by the Alderman from the 12th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Clerk, please make note of that. So Sign noted. Resolution 38 to HUDs. That is the extent of the first reading of resolutions, Mr. President. Second reading. We have none. Ms. Linus, unfinished business. We have none, Mr. President. Announcements. Tuesday, June 12th, there'll be a meeting of the Public Safety Committee at 11 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. On Wednesday, June 13th, there will be a meeting of the Neighborhood Development K Committee at 9 a.m. in the K Kennedy Room. Thursday, June 14th, there will be a meeting of the Transportation and Commerce Committee at 10 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. Friday, June 15th, there will be a full meeting of the Board of Aldermen in the Chambers at 10 a.m. That is the extent of announcements. Alderman from 12th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the Board. Uh, I'd also like to add on Thursday, June 12th at 9.30, uh, a health committee hearing. Mr. Clerk, please make, make note of that. Alderman from 10th. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to announce Thursday morning at 10, Parks Committee will have a meeting to take up the lease for the Municipal Opera. Excellent. Mr. Clerk, please make note of that. So noted. Alderman from 26th. Yes, Mr. President, members of the board, I was going to join in on the Thursday crowd too, but I would uh, we'll go ahead and schedule Ways and Means uh, at 11 Wednesday. Wednesday. 11 a.m. Yes, sir. Wednesday at 11 for Ways and Means. You make note of that, Mr. Clerk. So noted. Uh, any further announcements? Any further announcements? All of them from the tent. Also, yes, we'd like to remind you this Sunday, June 10th, is the annual Soapbox Derby on the Hill, right at Shaw School at Macklin Botanical. At noon, the police chief and fire chief will be having their race, which should be interesting. The new police chief is pretty tall, and that car is pretty small. You might as well come down and see him get in that yeah. thing. All right, <laughs> yeah. thank you. All right, thank you. Any for Alderman from the 22nd? Yes, Mr. President, members, well, I'd like to call a street committee hearing for Tuesday at 9 a.m. in the leisure room. Mr. Clerk, please make note of that. So noted. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All the one from the 8th. I would like to um, invite any of my colleagues over to uh, the Botanical Gardens in the 8th Ward. We have our Whitaker Wednesdays. Festivals have started. We've had two so far, and they run every Wednesday from here the next several weeks going forward. So Wednesday, come grab a picnic. Um, grab some Eritrean food from the Shaw Market on your way in, um, and come enjoy us in the, in the Botanical Gardens. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, Alderman from the 16th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. This Saturday, starting at 8.30, is the St. Gabriel's Parish picnic. Everyone is welcome. There's a parade that will feature Batman and Robin uh, starting at 8.45, so please get down there, and then games and food and rides ensue afterwards. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All the one from the 28th. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, all of my fellow colleagues, as well as everyone in St. Louis, is invited to the Central West End this Saturday evening for the Central West End Happy Hour, where we will be hanging out on, on Euclid. It's a great chance to uh, see friends and neighbors and check out the restaurants in the Central West End. Hope to see you all there. All right. Thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All of them from the 18th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the alderman from the 3rd, 11th, 14th and 27th be excused for necessary absence. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman. <laughs> the Alderman from the 11th is, yeah, is here. So withdraw the Alderman from the 11th. All right. Please read the list again. I would move that we excuse the Alderman from the 3rd, the 14th, and the 27th for necessary absence. Been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, entertain it, seconded by the Alderman from the 26th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> All in front of the 18th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the board adjourns until Friday, June 15th, 10 a.m. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, entertain a second. Seconded by the Alderman from the 7th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Stand adjourned.